throw up again. Morning all, welcome to my living room <laughs> and our Tuesday morning yoga taster session. Hope you're all well. <laughs> so today in our yoga practice we'll be starting with a short warm up and then we'll take a, two, a few rounds of that sun salutation that we practiced last week uh, and then we'll build up to a pose called wild thing. So those that uh, come to my uh, regular classes will know what that pose is. Uh, a little bit energetic this morning, a uh, fun practice. Um, as always, practice with care. Listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, modify if you know how or just leave that bit out. Okay, so just be careful when you're practicing. Should we start then? Enjoy the practice. We're going to start standing up today. You might need a little bit of space. <laughs> okay, uh, so if you start towards the top of your mats, <clears throat> just a nice, easy standing position to start with. So, you know, just take the feet comfortable distance apart, knees are soft, just let the arms hang nice and loosely by the sides and either a soft gaze down towards your mat or close your eyes. So just taking a few moments here to settle in. Scanning through the body from tips of toes sweeping up to the crown of your head. How you're feeling this morning, noticing what's going on with the body. Any little niggles that you need to be careful of while you're practicing this morning. And then take your focus to your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Full, deep, smooth breaths. Taking one more lovely deep breath here. And it's starting to bring a little bit of energy into the way we're standing. So start to spread your toes and really push your feet into the mat. Bring your feet hip distance if they aren't already there. So you're applying your footlock, you're plugging your feet into the mat. And notice as you do so, the leg muscles switch on. We're going to apply these internal locks. So you're pulling up on the pelvic floor and pulling your belly button towards the spine. We're standing nice and upright now. Shoulders pulled away from the ears, the neck is long. Crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. You've come into your mountain pose. We're going to connect this pose with breath. So we're going to move the arms as we uh, breathe in. So next, in breath, you're reaching up. Take your gaze up towards the ceiling in between the hands. And then as you breathe out, release the arms. Take your gaze down towards the mat. Let's take that two more times. Breathing in, really stretch out. Become really nice and long. And breathe out, release. Let the shoulders relax as you do this. One more time, this time we're going to leave the arms up there in upward facing mountains. So breathe in, reach up. And as fingertips reach up towards your ceiling, really push into your mat with your feet. Keep the shoulders released away from the ears. Maybe even start to reach up and reach back. Add in a bit of a back bend into this. Two more breaths. And release, lovely, release the arms to the sides. I'm going to take it into a side stretch now. So next, in breath, your right arm comes up. Really reach up to the ceiling with that right arm. And then as you breathe out, stretch across. Left hand reaches down the outside edge of left leg. As you pull back with this top shoulder, push out with your right hip and really push into your right foot to increase the stretch. Mm way to stretch out in the morning. Perfect. Okay, let's release. Come into the center. Let's do that opposite side. So next in breath, left hand reaches up. Next out breath, side stretch. You reach down low with that right as you reach across with your left. Two more breaths. Pushing out with that left hip. And bring that back to the center. And release your arms to the side. Taking a standing cat stretch now, 
So just soften the knees here as we reach forwards with the hands. So you're going to interlace the fingers. Uh, tilting the pelvis slightly toward the navel, tucking chin towards the chest. Nice separation in the shoulder blades as you dome your back. More breaths in. Let's release it now into our standing version of cow pose. So releasing the arms behind, interlace the fingers. It's a squeeze of the shoulder blades and lift of the arms. Feel the chest lifting, take the gaze upwards. So you can get the arms a little bit further from your back. Pausing for a couple more breaths Ooh, before we release it. Okay, we're going to roll down now into dangling pose. So again, keeping the knees soft, take hold of your elbows, chin towards your chest, and then nice and slowly roll down, letting the weight of your head carry you forwards. Neck is soft, knees are soft. Weight of your arms and your head, elongating your spine. Maybe sway from side to side if that feels good for you, or if you prefer, just hold it still. No tension. Take three nice big deep breaths in. One more breath. And then you're going to release your hands either to the mat if they reach, if not to your shins. We're going to walk out our forward fold. So keep the neck soft, just simply pedalling the heels up and down. One leg straightens, the other leg bends. So really sway the hips from side to side. I think this is a nice way to warm up the legs. Do it a couple more times each side. And then take your hands to your hips. So we're going to engage the muscles of the legs now, engage the core. Use your next in-breath to come up. And then take the hands behind. So just as we did in our standing cow pose, we're going to come into a forward fold this time. So interlacing the fingers, squeezing and lifting. Lovely big breath in here. And then as you breathe out, forward fold again. A lot stronger this time. Keep the legs nice and straight. See if you can knit together the shoulder blades a little bit more so you can get these arms away from the back a bit more. Crown of the head travelling down towards the mat. Pausing for three. For two. For one. Keep these fingers interlaced. Push your feet into the mat. We're going to come up. And as you get to the top, release your hands. Let's take it into that upward facing mountain. Gazing up between the hands, reaching up, reaching back. And release. Okay, we're going to take another forward fold. This time we're going to step back into a low lunge. If you can remember, similar to how we started the sun salutation last week. So mountain pose, feet hip distance. We're going to take a breath in, reach up to our upward facing mountain. Then on an out breath, softening of the knees as we release into a forward fold. Bend the legs enough so you can get your hands to the mat. We're going to send the left leg back, fingertips and toes in one line. Arms are straight, legs are strong. <coughs> Excuse me. Sink the hips down low. Push that back heel towards the mat. Spines long, necks long. Pause in for three more breaths. For two. For one. We're coming here from here into a downward facing dog. Take a halfway cat if you like. Or one big step. Straight back downward facing dog. Let's soften the knees. Push into the mat with your hands. Get your chest close to your thighs. Let's walk out our dog. Pedaling the heels up and down, going okay, swaying the hips from side to side. Nice. Okay, take your gaze between your thumbs, bring all the feet all the way to the hands. Take your hands to your hips, engage the core. Next, in breath, come up. We're going to take that opposite side. Let's go. Breathing in, Just take the hands up towards the ceiling, upward facing mountain. Breathing out, hinging forward at the hips, 
forward fold. Sending that right leg back this time to arrive in your low lunge. Sink the hips. Feel nice and strong. Enjoy that stretch on the back leg. Using towards the top of your mat. For three. For two. For one, it's downward facing dog. Again, walk in your dog. And take your gaze between your hands. You can either walk your feet towards your hands, or you can do little bunny hops. If you're taking the bunny hops, soften the knees, push into the mat with your hands, and then hop the feet forward. Okay, so. Leg, leg muscles engage, let's take the hands to the hips, breathing in to come up and walk it out. Are we all okay? Are we nice and warm now? No, I am. The sun's shining through the window here. Let's see who we've got. Oh, hi, Natalie. Hi. <laughs> okay, so four rounds of sun salutation then, the one we, we practiced last week. Towards the top of your mat, mountain pose. Take a breath in then and reach up, upward facing mat. On and out, breath, come forwards, forward, forward. Let's step back with left leg first to arrive in your low lunge. Next, out breath, taking downward facing dog. As you breathe in, roll over the shoulders to arrive in your high plank position. Lower knees, bend the arms, lower chest, chin. Send the chest through as you come into your cobra pose. Then turn the toes. Swing back, downward facing dog. And then we're going to step the left foot through, back to your low lunge. Right foot joins it, forward fold. And breathe in, reach up, upward facing mountain. Palms together. Now in front of half centre. Round one complete. Let's go into round two. Breathing in. Oh, and breathing out. Right foot comes back this time, low lunge. Left foot joins it, downward facing dog. Roll over the shoulders, high plank. Knees, elbows, chest, chin. Come forward, cobra pose. Turn the toes, swing back, downward facing dog. And step the right foot through, low lunge. Left foot joins it, forward fold. Breathe in, upward facing mountain. And breathe out, mountain pose. Number three, breathing in. And breathing. Breathing in, left leg goes back. Breathing out, right foot joins it. Breathing in, high plank. Breathing out, lower. Breathing in, cobra pose. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Breathing in, left foot forward. Breathing out, Right foot joins it. Breathing in, upward facing mountain. And breathing out, mountain pose. Our last one then, we should be getting nice and warm now, breathing in. And out. Right foot back. Downward facing dog. Roll forwards. And lower. Downward facing dog. Right foot forwards. Forward fold. Breathing in. Palms together. Breathing out. Are we okay? <laughs> nice and warm now. Okay, we've just got one standing pose to do and it's a balance 
And I'm going to step back into the middle of my mat because I haven't got much room. We're coming into standing bow pose. So I've got, I'll do a quick demonstration. I've got an alternative. So it's this one where we're catching hold of the back of our foot and then possibly tilting forwards. If that isn't for you, if you can't catch hold of your foot today, your alternative is to uh, interlace the fingers on top of the shin and come into a balance this way. Okay, so let's see where we are with it this morning. Mountain pose. Both feet plugged into the mat, your footlock. And then find a spot on the wall in front of you or on the floor uh, to help you focus. And take your focus to your breath. And take the weight into your left foot. You're coming on to the toes of the right. So either hugging that right knee into the chest or catching hold of uh, the ankle, your right ankle or right foot. So to begin with, nice quad stretch. We're just, uh, if, you, if you're here with the foot behind, just pulling the foot towards the bottom as you reach up to the ceiling with your left hand. As you push into the mat left foot, really reach up high with that left hand and keep left side of the body as it is so we're not tilting forward just yet. We're going to start to push that right foot into the right hand. So you're taking it back, you're kicking back as far as you can. And when you can kick back no more, option to start to tilt forwards. So it's finding that balance between reaching forwards with your left hand and kicking back with your right. Don't worry if you're wobbly like me, don't worry if you fall out. Reaching forwards, kicking back for three, for two, for one, with control, release, come back down, mountain pose. How was that? I was a bit wobbly this morning. <laughs> Okay, walk it out, find that spot again on the wall or on the floor, and find your breath. But lock right side, let's lift left leg, whichever version you're doing. Next, in breath, taking right hand towards the ceiling. Keep reaching up right hand as you start to kick back left. Kicking back as much as you can. And you can kick back no more. Option to tilt forwards. For three, for two, for one. With control release. And come back down a little bit better that side. <laughs> okay, we'll get out. We're going to come down with um, a sun salutation, do a little bit of work. Uh, on the mat now and build up to our main pose. So towards the top of your mat then, back to your mountain. Let's take a breath in and reach up. On and out breath fold, to your forward fold. You can step back with any leg you like into your low lunge and then into your downward facing dog. A few yeses and noes with the head to release tension in the neck. Let's pedal the heels up and down. And we're going to hold our downward facing dog still for a few breaths. So soften in the knees, spreading the fingers, pushing your fingertips into the mat, and then push your chest close to your thighs. Start to sink the heels down towards the mat. Pause here. For a few breaths, drawing up on the pelvic floor, pulling the belly button towards the spine. Drawing in that lovely stretch, all the muscles in the back of your body. Two more breaths. And then we're going to take it into a three-legged dog. So right leg first, next in breath, sweeping right leg high. Let's come on to the ball of the left foot so you can reach up even more with that right leg. Keep the right leg there as you sink left heel down. Then you're going to bend right leg, so you're dropping that foot towards the bottom. Keep the foot relaxed. We're going to take some hip rotation. So we're circling the knee, uh, it's an external rotation. So four times, nice big circles. 
flicking the knee outwards, that was the word I was looking for. <laughs> Three and four. How did that feel on your hips? Let's release it. Walk it out in the centre. We're going to go again left side. So from your downward facing dog, it's coming to three legged dog. So breathe in, sweep left leg high. Onto the ball of the right foot, push in into the mat with your hands. Get the chest close to that right thigh. Then sink right heel downwards. Take a bend then in that left leg and then four knee circles outwards. Nice, big, slow, smooth, controlled circles. Number two, oh, I'm kicking this side. Number three and number four, lovely. And release. just walk it out a couple of times. And then we're gonna lower the knees. Just rest the shoulders for a moment as you take the bottom back towards the heels, either extended child's pose or maybe you want to hold on to your elbows here just to, to rest the shoulders or maybe a few shoulder rotations. <sighs> we got in. Hi Diane. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna come to an all fours position like the tabletop that we're used to practicing in these sessions but we're going to take the wrists forwards of the shoulders today so knees still underneath the hips but wrists forwards still apply the hand locks so still really spreading the fingers and plugging your hands into the mat but come into a variation of a side plank I'm going to go left side first so you can see what I'm doing so Pivoting on your left knee, so you're just keeping the knee in contact with the mat but taking that left foot out to the side. Then flipping onto the left side of your mat, reaching up right hand and then reaching across. So what we're getting is this really lovely stretch all the way down the right side of the body. Start to turn the chest and the gaze towards the ceiling. Really push into your right foot, reach even more with your right hand. Enjoy this, it feels lovely down the side of the body. Pausing for three breaths, for two, for one, and release that back down. Let's come back to that tabletop with wrists in front of shoulders. Internal lock supply, so you're pulling up on your pelvic floor, pulling your belly button towards your spine. Let's take our side plank variation right side. So pivoting on the right knee as you take that foot out to the side, just stop your mat there. Flip onto the right side and reach up, reach across and enjoy. Really stretch out as much as you can. One more breath here. Ooh, that was nice. And release. Okay. Setting tabletop pose, uh, the usual way we do it now. So you're taking your wrists underneath your shoulders. So if you're really uh, nice and strong in this all fours position, we're taking some bird pose with an optional bind. Right leg comes back, pushing into the ball of the foot to remind you to engage the muscles of that leg. Keeping internal locks applied. Let's, uh, to begin with, reach forward left hand. So you're taking your gaze towards that thumb as you steadily make your way into the balance. So, just sort of push into the mat here with knee and hand to get that lift. You come as long as you can between left thumb and right heel. Now optional bind. So you're dropping your right foot towards your bottom, sweeping your left arm along your side. You can keep it here, or if you can reach, left hand grabs right ankle and lift. You push into the mat, really lift the chest. For three, for two, for one, let's release that back down. How did that feel? Maybe a few hip circles here to release before we go opposite side. So left leg comes back this time. Core is strong as we take right arm forward, gaze thumb. Keep your weight into the balance, stretch out to get that lift. Now take a bend in the left leg. Sweep back with the right, optional bind if you can reach, and push into the mat, get more of a lift, your gaze is forwards. 
for three, for two, Oh, one lovely release that then. Just take your hips slightly back from your knees, half centre pose. We're going to stretch the hands forwards, take your forehead to the mat and relax your tummy, relax your chest. Maybe even turn to rest on your chin if you want more of a stretch here. Couple more breaths. And then we're going to slide down onto our tummy. Uh, one prone pose to do here. Half bow pose. I quite like this one. So we've kind of done this already standing. We're doing the laying version. Uh, begin with a full body stretch. Stretch it all out. And you're going to bend your right leg. Right hand reaches back to grab hold if you can. If not, you're just sort of reaching in that direction. And just as we did when we were standing, we push that foot into your hand. See if you can lift the thigh of the mat. That's what you're, you're aiming for. You can keep it here or you can lift the rest of the body also. So if you're taking a lift, next in breath, keeping arm and leg straight, lift, gazes forward towards your thumb. If you lift some more, one more breath. A strong pose and release that back down. Stretch it out in the center. Let's take our half bow opposite side. So it's a bend of the left leg, sweep round left hand, take hold if you can. Push that foot into the hand, lift your thigh off the mat. And then option to lift the rest of the body, really reaching from right thumb to right toes, arm and leg straight. For three, for two, for one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Release that down. Should we take a little child's pose to stretch out the back? It's quite strong on the lower back, that one. Mm, couple of breaths here. Send in your breath to your lower back. Maybe giving it a bit of a rub if you need to. Are we all feeling okay? <laughs> Are you ready to take, or sort of almost take now, our main pose, wild thing? Um, so setting the tabletop with the wrists underneath the shoulders, feeling strong. Turning the toes coming into downward facing dog. Just as we did before. And uh, maybe, you know, my heels are down on the floor here because I'm quite long in the hamstrings. If your, your heels are, you know, miles off the floor, maybe bring your feet in a little bit closer, just so it might not even touch the floor, but just so your heels are a little bit closer towards the mat. Okay, we're going to come into three-legged dog like we practiced earlier. So next in breath, sweeping right leg high, just as we did before. And then drop that foot towards the bottom. So think about how we felt when we were doing these knee circles. We are keeping our hands planted firmly on the mat. So apply your hand lock, really push them in, they are glued to the mat. What we're gonna do is just take that right foot over to the left side as far as you can without lifting your hands off the mat. See how that feels. It's like gravity's taking that foot over, but you're stopping it. that feel okay? Let's see what, how it feels on the other side then. So release that right leg. Let's go again left side. So breathe in, sweep that le left leg up, three-legged dog. Take a bend in that leg. Hand lock supply, planting the hands firmly on the mat. See how far you can take the left foot over to the right without lifting anything. Mm. And release. Okay. We need to just uh, release the shoulders a little bit. <sighs> yeah, how are we feeling? Hi, Diane. <laughs> right. We're coming into wild thing. I think I'll just demonstrate this first. I'm going to have to demonstrate it with my left leg because uh, I've got a settee in the way here. Right. <laughs> so I'll show you what we're doing and you can decide whether or not you just want to do what we've just done or if you're going to go for it. Okay, so from the tabletop you're coming into your downward facing dog, three-legged dog, bend in the leg. 
and gravity starts to take that foot over. And you know, when it gets really heavy, you're just gonna let it go. And as that leg comes down, arm comes up and stretch it out. This is your wild thing. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could see you doing this. You're going to have to send me a video or a photograph of you in your wild thing. I'd love to see them. Right, we're going to go right leg first. So tabletop position. Turn the toes, push up downward facing dog. Plant the hands, plant the feet. Feel strong, engage the core. Let's take the right leg high. Three legged dog, really stretch it out as much as you can. Then drop your foot to the bottom. You're going to start to take that foot across, right foot over to the left. And it gets to that point where you want to lift your right hand off the mat. <laughs> Hopefully I've got a settee in the way. I really stretch it out. So left leg straight, right leg's bent. Stretch, 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 heart shining up towards the ceiling. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, when you've had enough, <laughs> release it. Come back to your downward facing dog. Ooh, walk it out. It gets you warm. <laughs> and let's go left side. Breathe in, sweep left leg high, three-legged dog. Take a bend in that leg, left foot over to the right side. And let it go. As you lift your left hand, stretch out. And release. Should we take a child's pose? <laughs> Big toes together. Knees at comfortable distance apart, so snuggle your bottom back on your heels. Stack your fists and rest your forehead on your foot. Start to allow a slowing down of your heart rate. Slowing down of your breath. Noticing how you're feeling now at the end of our little mini practice, our taster session. Which is what's going on with the body. And hopefully you feel all nice and invigorated and enlivened, <laughs> setting you up for the day. <sighs> you're ready. Coming back out, we can stay there if you like. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone, well done. Uh, remember, you can message me with any requests. I'm open to requests. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye. Uh, See you all again soon. Have a lovely day. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.